Okay, hello, my name is Emily and my partner is Hyung Jung and our embedded final project is a gesture controlled Bluetooth speaker that can control the song order and the volume. For the hardware part, we're using two sets of beam sensors to sense the swiping. Um, so currently the speaker is paused, which is shown in the LED in red. And uh, right now it's resumed. And we can change to the next song when we swipe from left to right. And then we can change it to the previous song when we swipe from right to left. Yeah. yeah. And then we're using an ultrasonic sensor to sense the distance and the volume can be adjusted accordingly. So now it's getting louder and then if you go down it gets more quieter. And then as you can see the LED brightness is adjusted based on the volume as well. And additionally, uh, you can put your hand on top of the sensor to pause it. So right now it's paused and the LED is shown in red and you can also do it again to resume the song. So it turns green for a little bit and then goes back to the uh, random color. So we use two Raspberry Pis to make this happen. One Pi is in control of receiving music from the Bluetooth device, which is currently our phone. And, oh, and it's also um, in charge of sending back the controls that the gestures generate to the phone. So this requires a two-way Bluetooth communication between the Pi and the mobile device. The Pi is also outputting, the same Pi is also outputting audio using PWM, um, which the LEDs also happen to use. So therefore, a single Pi cannot be used to both output music and control the LEDs at the same time. Therefore, we have a second Pi that both detects the hand gestures and controls the LEDs. The two Pis are communicating using five GPIO pins, which are responsible for sending messages that indicate play, pause, next song, previous song, and changing volume. Future improvements could be that firstly, as of now, using a human hand to control the speaker is sometimes troublesome because of the holes in our hands and because our hands are not continuous. Um, thus, while we are currently using a piece of paper to control the speaker, it would be nice to make the speaker compatible with less smooth and continuous objects like our hands. Another improvement would be to increase the volume of the speaker, the maximum volume, by using an amplifier circuit. Um, the speaker is clearly audible right now, but this is the maximum volume. Oh, not yet, but... Yeah, this is the maximum volume, which is clearly audible, but it could be improved by using a separate amplifier circuit. Thank you. Thank you.